Okay guys, I really wasn't planning on making a video today, but it looks like it's going to be several days before we get back in the field, and I try to put out a video every day, so I'm going to go on and make one. We're doing shop work today. We got the forklift to hold to the reel on the combine. This cylinder here is not raising for some reason, and we're, we know it's getting oil to it. We traced our oil down. There, there's something awfully goofy going on with it. We can't figure it out. It won't hold no pressure. My, our guess is it's on. Uh, our guess is a blowed oil ring, in, oil ring in it, and I don't know if this cylinder is repairable or not, or if we're just gonna have to get another one. We're probably just going We've been looking for a skewsco sights in the neat, so. Probably just go get a salvage one. But we got to pull this bolt out. There's a pan down here we got to knock out, and this whole assembly should slide out. So we're going to get that done. Alright, now all we got to do is get one pan knocked out. Got a pretty good size solder pan holding that plate on. There we go. I got to pull the hydraulic hose off. This is down here where you can get to it now. That bolt that we took out is a leveling. I believe it's a leveling bolt. Keep it real level across there. Oh, you're gonna be a heifer. I'll be right back. Oh, what a design. <sighs> sure they do trap when you got that in there with a the roll pin. Ah, down there, down there, down there. Maybe that's how it comes out. They knew what they were doing after all. I, I don't think that cylinder comes apart unless you put that, pull that fitting out and there's a snap ring in there. We'll put the old burn to do, take a look and see what it looks like. This bias on this truck, and I've probably said it a hundred times, is a lifesaver. This truck, I don't know what we would do with that. Just bring, always bring multiple energy. This combine is bad about having in the early 90s, everybody couldn't make up their mind what they wanted to use, whether they wanted to use metric or standard. We bought our first full set of metric wrenches when we bought this combine. Yeah, it's got a snap ring on it. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. Uh, you see that little, y'all see that little ring right there and then that groove? You gotta take a screwdriver and push that ring into that groove and then this ram will come out of this cylinder. This John Deere love this little style design on these single acting cylinders. My kind uh, my planner 
all the uh, all the whale cylinders. Guys, I don't know. The sail line is good. It ain't leaking out the end. Ain't no O-rings back in here. I don't know why it ain't working. Shaft ain't shaft ain't fitted or bent. Just don't know, guys. But, uh, we have a new leak on our header. We did not, you can see the, see the wet oil running down the side of the header. We did not discover it until we was down here working on this cylinder. And we don't actually think that this cylinder is bad. We think that the cylinder down here on the left hand side is the issue because oil comes into the bottom of it and then fades into the top of this line and they've got a line running all the way down to the header to the other cylinder and there is oil going down there but it don't look like near the pressure that it should be it's just kind of peeping and we need a stream so we're going to go to Sykeston, Missouri in the morning. They got both cylinders. We're going to go and get both cylinders. And we're going to replace both of those cylinders. And also they have a four and a half cylinder. We're going to go get one of them. And then the one we take off and replace, we're probably going to put an O-ring kit in it and just save it as a spare. In case we have another one start leaking. But the fun begins. This line right here runs all the way down through them headers. And it's, we got to fish it through this tube right here. You see this tube? Yeah, it's solid up there and that line runs through it. So that's going to be real fun. Here we go. So Bob's undoing the lines. We're tracing, trying to make sure we're pulling the right line out. Well, that was, that was surprisingly easy. They did do something pretty smart. They put this line in here in sections. They got it in in three sections where you ain't got to replace the whole darn thing. Ooh, it's rusty. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Wonder where it's leaking. Now you might have to call there and see if they got something. I doubt they got it. We called and tried to get a sale kit and I couldn't even find that. Who knows if I'll be able to find a line. We had a brain, a brain poop while we was a I wasn't thinking when we took this, I think it'll do better from the outside. When we took that line out, I forgot to tie something to it so that, you know, we had something to pull this new hydraulic line through, but never fail. I got the trusty old cable out. We have used this thing through a tube on many, many occasions. Now, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna try to ease it up through that tube. We put a rubber hydraulic line on it because there it went. The closest hydraulic line John Deere had was in where? Idaho? Washington or Idaho? So apparently they still run some 922s in Washington or Idaho. Atlanta didn't have one. Milan, Illinois didn't have one. And it was going to be $113. And we made this hydraulic hose up for 78 So it is what it is. That's what she's going to get in her. So we're not hooking the header up. We're just going to hook the real lift. Up and uh, see if we got it fixed. Snap it up there, Robert. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna face it a time or two and see if it don't start working. Maybe it's gotta work the air out of the system. Come on. Lift up our Aggravating this crap, what it is. You low down honky, you know what? Come on. Well, guys, you hate them days where you work all day on something and it just don't, just don't work. I thought for sure replacing that line would help. Well, we replaced the wrong, you see that hydraulic oil down there on the ground? We replaced the wrong blankety blank 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 insert, insert whatever words you can think of right here because I'm thinking them. I'm trying to do better and not say them. But has just we looked and looked and looked and looked, trying to make sure we changed the right line. They're just they're all up there on a dead blame one. Alright, Patch, get out the way. 
head clueless clueless Well, that's where we're going to shut the video off today. I'm going to watch this tomorrow change the line again. And if I don't and if I don't fix it, we'll be going to Saxton after some cylinders. We really need to go to Saxton after a four and a half cylinder to push the reel back and forth today. Oh, it's, well, we've been having a good harvest so far, but the past two days, the equipment has not wanted to cooperate. So, an update. We did change the wrong hose. So, we got it out. And this time we was a little smarter. This time we went on and tied the cable to it. Pulled it through the tube. So, that new hose ought to go through there a lot easier. We still don't know if the cylinder down, if this is going to fix the cylinder down on the end. So we may or may not be going to Saxton tomorrow. Y'all been wanting to see more more of Bob in the videos. <laughs> and he does not look very enthusiastic about it today. He was in a pretty good mood until we until he found out that second one. We changed the wrong one. But until next time. Y'all keep them straight up there.